Hi all and welcome back to another episode. Well, we're up early this morning because we are not too far away from good old Derby now. Been a long time coming but finally making it out this way. I'm going to head up, get a bit of water and fill up the fuel and have a quick look around. So, hope you enjoy. <laughs> There's some interesting things to read up on in here. So I thought I'd just um, get a bit of footage of it all for you and you can just pause the video and have a read if you want. I did the same for myself too because I would have been here a long time <laughs> reading it all. That'll do me just fine, I think. What a bad little spot. I was just looking. I, um, a memory popped up and it was saying that first time I hit the, the Kimberley was, I think it was seven or eight years ago. And since then I've been to the East Kimberley uh, three times. And only finally I've um, made it across. <laughs> to the west. It's not too bad at all. Anyway, it's a nice easy meal tonight. We'll do some chicken patties. Put them in the wraps. We've got a bit of a quad bike mission tomorrow. I'm gonna go look for old mate's hut. 
I remember first seeing it on Malcolm Douglas. I won't tell you too much now. We'll, we'll go up there tomorrow. Get up and probably head head a bit early. So it's half cool. <laughs> Poor old mate turns that oven on for the day. It's not too bad actually, to be honest. The weather hasn't been too bad at all. Last packet of wraps too. I will say, I am keen to get out there and throw a line in. This um, warm weather certainly brings on them barra. And I'll be having fish and chips instead. <laughs> so we got some cheese. Might even throw some sun-dried tomatoes on it. And some olives. Go right out with these wraps tonight. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Ooh, bit of... Fuck, I could eat a horse too. And chase his jockey. Might give the old um, sun-dried tomatoes a miss tonight. Got a bit of shit happening on that. <laughs> Just in time for that sunset too. Anyway guys, see you in the morning, eh? Bright and early too, please. We got a trip to do. Well, that's a bit of a good sign. Barra being caught. Might as well have a look at a few different spots where we're going along. Bit of an idea then when I come back where I'll go fishing. The hut shouldn't be too far away now. Getting close. So I was just working it out. It's probably been like a month and a half, close to two months since I've been near the salt water. Wouldn't think of it. Time flies. The time I left the NT, spent a bit of time with Spook, and then you know, spent spent quite a while down at the Ord, and then head across to here. So it's been yeah, close to that. It's good to smell that salt too. I love me fresh. I love all, <laughs> but when it comes to fishing and, you know, looking around, I love the salt. Do you reckon there's a mullet or two? <laughs> On the hunt. I want to feed a fish. Anyway, that's enough looking. We're on a mission today. We'll be back to fish, don't you worry. That's why I don't stay at one spot for five minutes. I stay there for a little bit so I get a feel of the joint. Oh, she's waiting patiently. <laughs> hey, big girl. Seen better days.
Finally here. After all the time wanting to come here. So I first come across old mate Helmet. I hope I'm saying your name right, mate. <laughs> um, on Malcolm Douglas. I remember seeing it as a kid, and yeah, I'm, I'm actually here. <laughs> it's yeah. I um take my hat off to this fella. Like you know, you kind of you are in a riverbed. Uh, you're you're off to the side a fair bit, but you can still see the trees, the angles they're on. You can still see like rubble and that up up in the trees up high. You know the water level still comes up. He does have like upstairs in his place. Like <laughs> I remember listening to it. I don't want to give. What you'll have to do is you'll have to jump on and you'll have to go find. Hopefully it's still out there. The episode of Malcolm Douglas and when he was meeting old mate. Um, yeah, he's a bit of a character. Uh, <laughs> two legends in one spot at the one time. Like, but yeah, I do remember him saying, I'm pretty sure he was saying something about, don't you worry about the floods or something? He goes, no, I'll go upstairs. Got everything I need up there or whatnot. Um, I wish I could sit down and have a chin wag with him, but he, unfortunately he's gone. Oh, the man's got some bulls. This is, this is what I could see me doing in the future. <laughs> That's probably why I'm single. So I could live like this. <laughs> That's mad, isn't it? That's pretty bloody cool, mate. You know how he used to make his bricks? What a good idea. Because he liked a tin or two, coldy. And you can see him putting in his um putting the tins or the bottles inside his concrete and that's what he's making his bricks out of so you know that's how smart's that that's disposing of glass bottles and that all that tins and bottles in that concrete imagine how much concrete you saved instead of having to do a full whole blocker um i was going to say chocolate full blocker like concrete you know you would have saved a lot of concrete by putting these tins and that in there so i the man was living in the future How's his steps? You know, like they're steep. <laughs> I couldn't imagine how he'd go after a few tins. Is they like real steep? But how how he's putting them together? Like, like is that thinking or is that thinking? Uh, I know what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do when I get back to camp, I'll probably cook a feed tonight, and I reckon I'm gonna try and find that episode, and I'm gonna watch it again to give me a like. Like I said, I was only young when I seen it, but this will give me a good feel of what was where and how it was and, and um, yeah, then I can think back and think, oh yeah. No, upstairs obviously is a bit worse for worn now. Even had a toilet, shower, bath. Like, can you imagine bringing all this stuff out of here? Pretty long track coming in here and sandy. Like some spots, you're bogged down. Like was that car out there? Was that his car that brought all the stuff in here? What a man. Loved his barra fishing. And what better spot to be doing it too. You just have to walk out into his front yard and throw a line in, well, depending on what time of year it was. Probably wouldn't even have to leave his front yard. No, his fridge. If anyone knows, I don't know, is it a Kero one? It looks like a Kero one, I'm not sure. I couldn't see it being electric. You know, everything he, or the way I'd do it is everything I run, I'd try and like run stuff like me fridge and me um, uh, stove, which is stove, look gas, off gas or Kero or something that, you know, you wouldn't have to um, run fuel for a generator nonstop. Because oh, he's a long way away and then he's got to go and get fuel. Gas might last him a little bit longer. The idea. Was this a water tank? It's like double walled. And it's like sealed off with concrete. He hasn't left no gaps in it. He's filled up all the holes in the, con in the um, bricks. He had the best real estate going. <laughs> well. Hope you've enjoyed that one, guys. Like I said, I've been waiting for years to come to see this. 
and I am gonna go and I am gonna look for that um, uh, episode now for sure. I don't know what's um, more, more of adrenaline for me. The fact that I'm here and I've seen where old mate Helmet lived and you know, spent his days, or the fact that I'll just come down a track where back in the day Malcolm Douglas would have come too. You know, and them boys would have been sitting there talking to each other. Well, yeah. Yep, insane. We might go for a quick run out to this water and see if we can not find a little fishing spot. We may not do a lot of fishing today, but we'll go and have a look and see what else is around. And then we got an idea when we come back, we can just dart straight to them spots. Uh, we'll go for a spin. Look at the boat down there. Far out. Shit loads of them. We know where to go for bait. Salty. I don't know if that would have picked it up then. But Looks a bit shallow. It looks a bit deeper. Oh, there must have been a lot of mullet back there. It just all cloudy up. The water at the bottom got ripped up by the mullet. As much as I really want to throw a line in now, it's just a bit too hot out here. Don't have Dodger's umbrella. <laughs> Alright, we got time. Come back. So we're just coming along the um, riverbed there. Seeing this up in up in the scrub. I wonder if this was old mate's water tank. She just washed down in the floods. It makes sense, but who knows? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we'll just have a quick little look up here. <laughs> oh, you can smell bats. Oh yeah, we have a lovely smell about them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. We only went a little bit further up. I'm pretty sure it's not long now and there's gonna be another spring tide, so a big tide. And you can see where the tides have come up to, so I might go and suss out the tides and see when they are and make it a, um, a plan to come back and fish for them tides. But we just pulled up in the shade for now. I don't realise it gets real hot on the quad. Because you're like, obviously you're not in shade and when you're driving along, it's still equivalent to standing out in the middle of the sun like this. <laughs> But uh, you don't feel it as much because of the breeze. Might dart back now and let this girl stay at home back at camp and we'll um, put the chainsaw on and go knock up some wood. Get a bit of a campfire happening. Enough wood laying around. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> 